cards time once again, and we got ourselves a card out of Puerto Rico. So I'm pretty sure I know who this is. Also, we throw in that Juan Soto card. I love it, finally. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the more, where's my letter thingy? Um, we're not prepared. Knife it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is pro, well, I mean, I should open it beforehand, but there's no way this isn't who I think that think it is. And I'm pretty sure it's probably like one of the more popular kind of older baseball players that I think like almost everyone that kind of does do the mail things gets and had this card, which I'm going to show you, which came from, but see, I'm showing the confidence. I'm pretty sure I know who this is from. And it's just the card. Who? Cool. There we go. Juan Gonzalez. Pretty cool. Here's a cool signature. I like that. That looks really nice on this card. Oh, the corner got a little messed up, but oh, can we fix it a little bit? I'll have to look at it after. Not the biggest deal ever. But that looks pretty sweet. Thank you, Juan Gonzalez. So this is a 90 Bowman, I believe. I don't believe, I know it is. 1990 Bowman. And where is it? So I actually found this the other day. Or a week, I guess it would be. I have the entire set. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool, maybe this is worth something. And I checked on eBay, and you pay more for the shipping than for the box. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep this. And it's pretty funny because I gotta cover the name. I got this from like a family member, October 1995. <laughs> you can see right there. So I've had this for a while when I was like a kid, and there's some good cards. I saw I had a there's a Don Mattingly card in here uh, I pulled out. So I'll try and save that for spring training. Um, don't get our heart ahead of ourselves because it's the Marlins, but who knows now, Derek Jeter. But typically, if you like a guy now, they're gone by next year. So maybe if Don Mattingly is still here, that we could get that signed during spring training. But there's some other guys. I think, what is it? I'm not going to go too much. I, I like kind of went through it. Like trying to, I think there's like some names I recognize. Um, Jose Akendo. Uh, I think I had this one aside. Andy Van Slyke, who I believe there is a, uh, oh my gosh, what's his name now? There's a kid, on, I don't think he's a kid. He's like my age. Guy on the Marlins. Oh, what's his first name? Is it Scott Van Slyke, I think? But it's apparently his son, which is pretty cool. I don't think his son has a card, but he, his dad has a card apparently. Maybe I could get hit this sign. And then maybe his son to sign. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my gosh, this top box. And then I was like looking on through on eBay. And I think this is probably the most valuable card in this, but it's from... This isn't. This Frank Thomas. It's from, uh, there's like another set of this 1990 Bowman set where that Frank Thomas card, I'm pretty sure, is like a $50 card or something, but this isn't it, so whatever. But yeah, there's, there's, in my head I was like, yo, that'd be super cool to try and see how many of these we could get signed. But there's 528 cards in this. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Maybe a couple of the guys, but... Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool to get one of those cards signed that I've had since 95. I'd be six years old, I think. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Juan Gonzalez. Cards time again, and we are on part 14 somehow of this through the mail kind of deal. So let's see what we got today. It's uh, definitely a different kind of stamp. Pretty sure it says Oakland. It's kind of like cut off, not really on the back, but yeah. We shall see. Come on. I think a relatively recent card, judging from the stamp. Um, okay, I think that's my note. A note? Something? One card? One card. Backwards, top. This... 2017? Hmm. Let's just wrote out. Ooh. 
Chris Hatcher. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. Series one. Yeah, he was a Marlin. I was gonna. I was about to say. I'm pretty sure this guy was at the on the Marlins at some point. And uh, yeah, back in 2014. That's pretty cool. I should. I don't think I. Ha I don't have anything from 2014. I wouldn't have one of his Marlins card, but we got him on the Dodgers. I'm guessing he's still on the Dodgers. Um, yeah, it's just my next card. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Chris Hatcher. Let's see when we sent that out. Yeah, I think I just said uh, I came from the Dodgers. Totally did not. It wouldn't come from the Dodgers from Oakland. I didn't really realize that, but yeah, I came from Oakland Athletics. Sent it out May 30th, so it took 20 days to get back. That's pretty fast. I like that. So, yeah, thank you, Chris Hatcher. So I was literally just about to hit record, and it's like hurricaning outside. Yes, I still have the hurricane shutters halfway up from last year, but don't worry about that. It's hurricane season again, so you know what? It worked out, but that's cool. Trying to record here. Cards are in, and we got something out of Syracuse, New York. Pretty cool. It was like two, I think. So let's see. Hopefully, well, not hopefully, but you can probably hear thunder in the background. And uh, I think I recorded a little clip showing what the hell's going on outside, but yeah, it's like a little mini hurricane coming through Florida right now, even though it's not, it's just typical <laughs> summer thunderstorm kind of deal. But now I gotta go out in the street. I'm not doing it now because it's, it's probably like a good 30 mile an hour wind right now, but it like blew our recycling bins into the street, but I'm those. I mean, those cars can move. They want to take them out, but let's see what we got here. What we got? Is this? No. Pitch. Pitching. Huh. Austin Voth. Hopefully said that correctly. Oh, he signed both. Nice. See, the paper kind of shows up a little bit better. But, uh... Wait, what was the last one we got? Did we get two 2018s? 2018 Bowman in a row? I'm not sure. That looks pretty sweet. Looks nice on the chrome. I guess the chrome, sometimes it like makes the background a little bit lighter and then sometimes it makes it a little bit darker, but yeah, that looks pretty good. Kima. That looks out of focus. Pretty nice as well. I kind of like this one better just because it like shows up a little bit better, but I do love the chromes. Where, so yeah, let's see how long this took. Yeah, sent out May 17th, so a little over a month ago. Today is the June 21st to uh, Syracuse Chiefs. So that's pretty sweet. Thank you, Austin. Card came in. So let's see what we got here. Indianapolis seems a little chunk got taken out of it. So yeah, also, uh, I think I've had a couple of the envelopes so far come back with this A on it. And that's a mark I put because I was trying to do a little experiment that ones that I have marked letter A on it are ones where I kind of typed out my note kind of deal instead of writing how I have been on the index card just to kind of mix it up, see what happens with that kind of thing. So... I don't feel a note or anything, just two cards. Let's see what we got here out of Indianapolis. We got a... Uh, chrome? Oh, well, let's just see. Huh. Kevin Newman. We got the paper on top. Pittsburgh Pirates. That's pretty cool looking. I like that. And nice. Kevin Newman again on the chrome. So wait, these are different. Spellman Chrome. Oh, that's, what? It's Bowman, it's 2017 Bowman Draft. But then he has a Bowman Chrome or, hmm. That one kinda, I could tell it 
he didn't let it dry. It looks like he signed this first and kind of put it in. You can kind of see there. And then just when I turned it over uh, here, you could kind of see on the back and it kind of smeared a little bit, but that's okay. That's exactly why if I have a chrome and a paper version of it, uh, I send that, send both of them because sometimes the chrome gets messed up. Which is this? Can't smell the baby powder, but I'm guessing I did baby powder it. But that's pretty cool. Thank you, Kevin Newman. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see how long that took. So I sent that to the Indianapolis Indians and it took 68 days. Sent it out April 16th and today's the 23rd of June. And also it seems that I did send them a card in spring training they realize on February 21st so which I, had, I didn't get anything back from then and I would not have wrote the letter A on my envelope so that's definitely the most recent one so maybe next year during spring training if you still on the Pirates I'll get that card back <laughs> that'd be kind of cool but uh yeah cool got him finally finished that and I figured Got this one also. I have a couple more lined up, but I figured why not open this one because I have a feeling I know who this is. But uh, yeah, let's open it up and see if my feeling is right. Because I think we, well, I don't think we have, this is the person we have sent before, but they recently had a card come out and I was like, yo, I kind of want that sign. And I think I'm right because I think I feel a gypsy queen. So, I am right. So this should be a Gypsy Queen, 2018 Gypsy Queen, and 2018 Donruss Baseball, which is, this is probably the only card I have, but I thought this is, who nice. So I still, I probably should find out this guy's name by now. Is it Luis Castillo or something like that? It's gotta be, but I thought this was a super cool looking card. He actually, <laughs> I'm pretty sure has a card in Series 2 that just came out, but uh, yeah, I'll probably wait till later on in the year or something, maybe send that. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he'd have something in like Topps Chrome coming out, or a later product, probably wait till then. So yeah, we got him on that, and yes. This one, well, I mean both of them I bought off eBay as like singles, but I thought the Indigo would look pretty cool sign and I figured he seems to be really probably like one of the best signers I guess I'd say from my experience because he's signed once during spring I think I actually got him twice during spring training and now this time so yeah I he, apparently he was on the Marlins I did not know that and of course, these don't have stats, which I kind of do like that. I like when it shows, like, what teams and stuff they've been on. But anyway, yeah, I don't think he ever, like, played on the Marlins, but he was, funny enough, he was actually on the Jupiter Hammerheads, which is a minor league team here, and I never knew it because I wasn't really, like, into cards and, like, following kind of players like that. It kind of sucks because I could have drove 15 minutes and saw him play a bunch. But, yeah, I guess that happens. But, yeah, I don't know, I didn't really like Donruss this year. I, I don't think, that, I mean, this one kind of does look okay to me. I kind of like it. And I know people don't really like it because it doesn't have logos or whatever, but last year's 2017 Donruss, I actually liked that a lot. But this design, I'm not too big of a fan, but I thought this was, like, a good picture and it looked cool. And then I think he actually has been signing in black for the other times I got him. So now this time he did in blue. Which is awesome because the blue matches like the indigo on this and looks pretty sweet. Because this one's numbered one, right? Yeah, it's at 250. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Louis or Luis. And he's come back within probably like a week or two anyway. So if you have any cards of him, I'd say give him a try. He probably should get him back because he seems to be a cool guy like that. So thank you, Louis. Thank you, Kevin. Awesome.